Hey you guys, my name is James Diaz and today I'm going to teach you how to play Pink Lemonade by James Bay on the ukulele. So let's get started. The chords for the intro is going to start with an F sharp minor to a B and then to an E. Then you're going to play an F sharp minor to a B to an E and then to a C sharp minor. And then those chords, those four chords, is the chords for the entire rest of the song. F sharp minor, B, E, C sharp minor. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all the different parts of the song for you. I'll play the intro, I'll play the first verse, the chorus, um, and the bridge, just so you can see where these chords are basically placed in the song, and then I'll teach you a strumming pattern you could use at the end of the video. Alright, so the intro is going to start... Then you do it again. Then you're gonna go into the first verse and it's Don't fall into my arms Don't ask me to repeat it Don't say the chorus. Alright, so then the chorus is going to go, do you want to talk, do you want to talk it through, swear ain't got anything on my mind, I don't want to talk to you, do you want to talk, do you want to talk it through, swear ain't got anything on my to the second verse, but it's the exact same as the first verse, so I'm going to skip ahead to the bridge for you. Let me wake up heavy So that's basically where all the chords are placed in the song, so I'll teach you a strumming pattern you could use now. So it's going to be down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Down, down, down. Alright, so that's a showing pattern you could use for this song, and now we're going to talk books. The girl with the train is like the Hunger Games. They're both about girls, and they're both about trains. Only the girl with the train smells like Hollister. The girl with the train is better than the Lord of the Rings, in that it's smaller, and it costs less. The Girl with the Train is a magnet punk novel about a girl named Catherine set in a post-apocalyptic world, where the government is evil, and there's a resistance trying to fight said government. So the resistance is trying to take down the corrupt government, but they don't trust Catherine and her friends to do a very good job. So she decides to take matters into her own hands and steal a train from the resistance to go and infiltrate the highest level of their oppressive and corrupt government. Everything ends up going crazy and she has to run away from the corrupt government with the stolen train from the resistance and she expects no help from the resistance at all seeing as she stole their train. So I actually read this book. I read it twice actually. I really, really liked it. And if you do get the book and you like it, I want to ask you guys if you can leave a review saying that James Diaz Music sent you. Thank you guys for watching. So I hope that this tutorial helped you, and uh, I'll see you guys in another one.